to another episode of... Oh, actually, it's not. It's, it's an update. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so used to doing an episode. Oh, that's embarrassing. Jurassic World Evolution 2 have just released a trailer for their latest paid DLC. We have waited. We have wondered what it could be. And to be fair, they've been teasing on their Twitter. Or X, as it's officially now. Um, so if you have been sort of curious what their next DLC is, before I even describe what it is, how about we just watch the trailer? Let's go! Yes, in-game footage video contains paid content. It's the lagoon! Beautiful giant ichthyosaur. A nothosaurus, the thing is. And what everyone thought was a megalodon is actually the Dunkelosteus, as well as an Archelon, I think it is. I, I got so, I got so debated <laughs> when I first saw that, I went, is that an Archelon coming on land? Are they having mixed enclosures? No, <laughs> no, they're not, unfortunately. So this is coming on August 10th. So we just have a quick look at what we have on offer. Yes, yeah, so let's have a quick scrub through. So as it sort of zooms down, there's something huh? weird here. This little thing moving in the ocean, I don't think they've brought attention to at all. And as far as I'm aware, it could be it could be a fish, it could be a new type of prey, or it could just be something that I've got, maybe it's a mod that they've left on. I don't I, I'd highly I, I I would not expect them to leave a mod in. <laughs> but so, I, I don't know what that is. It could be like a tiny ichthyosaur, but it looks closer. So strange. So the first thing we see is the Shonosaurus or Shonosaurus, which is or was the biggest ichthyosaur that ever existed. It's It made its first debut in the Jurassic Park media in Jurassic Park Builder. I think it was a bronze. It wasn't very good. If anything, it might have been a silver, um, but still... Um, a, a beautiful addition to add to this. Here you've got the Nuthosaur, which I think uh, we first saw in Camp Cretaceous, chasing the kids through the thing. I, I made like a, a little animation of that and it got copyright struck, so that's fun for me. <laughs> um, but uh, interesting to see, this will definitely have a unique animation because I don't think we have anything else that has legs. So I'm assuming we've got, we've got the Nuthosaur, We've got the Dunkelosteus, and it's interesting to see it's a Dunkelosteus that is slightly different to, you know, the classic one we always see with that massive eye, because Dunkel Bunkel actually went through a renaissance, a bit like the Spinosaur has a million times, with how it looks. So it looks like they've actually implemented into here. Uh, it made it a lot longer, but it looks gorgeous. And of course, Archelon there. Um, yeah, this is the bit I was like, oh, no way! And then I actually went, uh... <laughs> I was like, no, really? It was, it was so close. But they're showing all the different uh, beautiful patterns you can get for Arkle on there. Uh, I think there might be a couple of things that we haven't picked on here. So this is a lovely shot of the uh, Nothosaurus. And we'll get to the Steam page as well, just to double check everything there. As well as Arkle, I wouldn't be surprised if they've made Nothosaurus, is it called Nothosaurus? Nothosaurus, yeah. Uh, able to also walk on that rock, because that wouldn't surprise me. They both got, well, like the Archelon has flippers, we'll be honest. But you know, I, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if we also have this thing walking on. But not only have they added that, they've actually added something else. I don't think we get to see it really here. Uh, no, you get to see the feeder. So it'll be interesting to see. The Shunosaur will definitely have an eating animation like going for the shark feeder, the um, the Dunklostius will. Nothosaur will probably just eat fish, the same with Archelon. Um, but they, again, it's always great when we get to see new creatures because it means not only are we going to have new animations and it just adds to the roster of, you know, dinosaurs or, or prehistoric creatures that are in Jurassic World Evolution 2, but also for modders for the PC. I know that PlayStation and consoles can't do the mods, unfortunately, but it does, it's great for, you know, and it's just the fact that Lagoons have been completely overshadowed just because they're, they're just stuck to their, their own, they've been forgotten about, you know, they're stuck inside their fish tank. Even the aviaries can, you know, the dinosaurs can break out and be in the world, but 
these guys can't. They can't break out and be in the ocean, which is a shame. Or the water system. Um, that would require a whole rework of the game, and I don't think they're going to be doing that. So how about we move over to uh, check out the whole details of this DLC? Here we are. I think this is the same. Is it the same announcement trailer? Yes, it is the same announcement trailer. So we got a lovely better view of the Dunkelostius. I always thought Dunkelostius was quite short or at least squat from what I remember, but they've definitely lengthened this thing. Uh, this is the tale that everyone saw. There was speculation of it being Gillicus or Gillicus as uh, a factorness. Um, or, you know, an, an, a shark. I think we all expected a tail to be a Megalodon. And also, we have, you know, this almost coinciding with the release of the Meg 2, the trench or whatever it's called. Kind of, I was like, oh, okay, we're doing not a, you know, not a sponsored thing. But, you know, on the back of that, people, everyone, everyone's going to be searching Meg or Megalodon. You put it in your DLC. How cool is that? But alas... We have a marine DLC where we don't have a Megalodon. So it really begs the question, if we're not getting it now, when are we going to be getting Megalodon? And your guess is as good as mine, because I have literally no idea. In this image, you can see in the background, there it is. That is the new attraction for the lagoon. And it, it's something we've wanted for a while. It's something that modders or people who have added mods to their game. You can just put buildings inside buildings. They put the um, observation tower from the Biosyn DLC into the lagoons and it, it kind of works. However, it looks like we've got something more akin to Jurassic World, or so Jurassic Park, the game, where you had, I don't know what that scientist was called with the Mosasaur on the outside. It, it's an observatory by the looks of it. It'll be interesting to see how people will be able to, you know, enter it. I'm assuming it's going to be something similar to the viewing dome in JPOG, where you have an entrance somewhere, and then there's like a limit to how much, you know, you can stretch it out from there, and then you can plonk it down in the lagoon. And it just allows a better view. Uh, it's something that I thought would have been in the game, as, like right from the beginning. Because how else do they view it apart from the you know the Mosasaur stands? Another view of the Nothosaur, really showcasing its scales there. I didn't expect to see that sort of texture on that. And there, just to see the sheer scale of the Shunosaurus. Um, and I'm I'm looking forward. To see this. I have always found the uh, sea creatures and aquatic life during prehistoric times the most fascinating. I, I will always be a diehard dinosaur fan, but it's just something about, you know, in an environment that you can't, as humans, we cannot exist in. And yet these things found a way and they breathe air. It, it's fascinating to me. And then there you go. Obviously, maybe an interaction possible with that. It, it does beg the question, though. And I've, I've said that saying a lot, I know. Um, you know, can we not get different types of lagoons? Because Archelon, you know, yeah, you can have it in a huge one, but kind of feels to me maybe a smaller one might suffice for an Archelon, even though it is a giant prehistoric creature. So let's read the description, shall we? Plunge into the ancient depths and discover four new marine species with Jurassic World Evolution 2 Prehistoric Marine Species Pack. Put your park management abilities to the test and house gentle giants, prehistoric reptiles, and powerful armored predators in your lagoons. Obviously referring to Dunkelostius. Uh, these breathtaking new additions are sure to give your guests an unforgettable underwater experience. Uh, Archelon, so that's what we see in front of us, uh, whose name means ruler turtle, is the largest turtle ever discovered. This marine reptile uh, sported giant flippers, making it a fast swimmer. With a hooked beak adept at eating fish, its impressive size and leathery car carapace allowed it to float in the shallows of the late Cretaceous period. Uh, we'll move on to the Nothosaurus now. Nothosaurus is a nimble predator with a long, flat skull and menacing needle-like teeth. This distinctive predator, inspired by Universal Pictures, Amblin Entertainment, and DreamWorks Animation's hit Netflix show, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous... Oh, jeez, that was a hell of a mouthful. <laughs> uh, roamed the shores of the late Triassic, using its tail and webbed feet to propel itself through the water like modern-day sea lions. Interesting that they say this is based on the critically acclaimed <laughs> Camp Cretaceous. Obviously, Universal holds this in high regard. So hopefully, we'll get to see more animated series. Uh, and of course, we have the Dunkle Bungle Dunkleosis, a powerful armored fish, stalked the upper waters of the late Devonian period. Of course, we've seen Nigel Marvin swam with these beauties, uh, sported a massive sharpened jaw that could open and close with immense force. This voracious predator was one of the most intimidating fish of its time. 
And finally, the absolutely ginormous uh, Shonosaurus, or Shonisaurus, had an enormous rotund frame, making it a graceful giant of the late Triassic period. Regardless of size, this large ichthyosaur was a maneuverable hunter of the deep oceans with only a long, skinny snoot. The Shonosaur would rely on its size to fend off would-be predators. So, not only of these things, I, they're always this unique animation between certain creatures, and we've seen that with, uh, well, every DLC pack. Iguanodon was like the first one, I think, where it would kick things away and fight back. Um, but also, I can't wait to see these things against everything else. Um, and of course, mods are gonna have a, a great time with it because it's more things for them to play with when it comes to adding new dinosaurs and stuff like that. And just, uh, yeah, like, I love this. We, we had some, you know, every now and again, one would be put in. We had the like Pluridon that was put in, or the Pleaser, so I can't remember what it was called. But now we get a dedicated pack just to these guys. We haven't had it for the flyers, though I don't know now that we've got Quetzal, there's really anything to do. The only one critique that I think is on everybody's lips and question is where is Megalodon? You, you, I feel as if they're saving it because that's one thing that, you know, everybody's asking for. When it comes to marine creatures, it's Mosasaur and Megalodon. And I don't know whether it's Universal are saving it for something or they don't like it because maybe the Meg is from a different, you know, uh, title or license. I'm, I mean, you can't copyright an actual living creature. I don't think. I'm sure there's somebody will debate me in the comments. But either way, you know, you should be able to put a Megalodon in your game. Uh, I, I, I'm wondering they've got to be saving it for something. This game has been surviving for a long time now since surely it wasn't 2018. I think it must have been 2021. I think this came out. So it's been two years now. It has been consistently put in with DLCs and I can't wait to see what they add next. But if you have liked this video and you're excited, let me know down in the comments which creature are you most excited for. I feel at a guess it's probably going to be Dunkelostius. But I'll put this to a poll and let the comments decide. And until next time, well, I'll see you when we get to check out these amazing marine reptiles. Oh, bye bye.